Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Anthology as we continue with the reference materials. Today we will be going over the M163. M163 title, Martin Marietta M163 20mm Vulcan self-propelled anti-aircraft gun system. Development. Development of the Vulcan Air Defense System began under the direction of the United States Army Weapons Command at Rock Island Arsenal, Illinois in 1954. Sorry, 1964. Two versions of the Vulcan were subsequently developed, a self-propelled model called the M163, development designation XM163, and a towed model called the M167, development designation XM167. Prime contractor for both models is Martin Marietta of Burlington, Vermont. After trials carried out by the United States Army Air Defense Board at Fort Bliss, Texas, and at Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland, um, in 1965, the system was accepted for service in that year as a replacement for the twin 40mm M42 self-propelled anti-aircraft gun. First production M163s were delivered to the United States Army in August 1968, and final deliveries were made in 1970. Since then, the system has been placed back in production for export during 1975 through 1979, and briefly again in 1982, before finally closing down. Israel used the system during the 1982 invasion of Lebanon when it destroyed several Syrian aircraft, including one Sukhoi Su-7 fighter bomber and several Gazelle ATGW helicopters. The Israelis have also developed the M163 for use in the ground defense role in support of the infantry. By early 1987, a total of 671 M163 systems had been built, of which 601 were for the U.S. Army and 70 for export. However, a considerable number of U.S. Army vehicles have been diverted to foreign users. Description The M163 basically consists of an M113A1 APC fitted with a one-man electrically driven turret, which has a 20mm Vulcan cannon, Navy Mark 20 Mod 0, Dyro lead computing site, and an EM tech range-only radar mounted on the right side of the turret. The chassis, which is des designated the M741, differs from the M113A1s in minor details only, including the provision of a suspension lockout system to provide a more stable firing platform when the weapon is being fired. The installation of buoyant pods on either side of the hull and a buoyant trim vane at the front of the hull to improve its amphibious characteristics and an additional circular hatch cover in the hull roof on the right side. 20mm 6 barreled M168 cannon is the development of the weapon originally developed for aircraft such as the Lockheed F-104 Starfighter and has two rates of fire, 1,000 and 3,000 rounds per minute. The original version fired up to 6,000 rounds per minute. The 1,000 round per minute is normally used in the ground roll and the 3,000 rounds per minute in anti-aircraft defense. The maximum effective anti-aircraft range is 1,200 meters, ground range 3,000 meters and indirect fire range 4,500 meters. The kill probability per engagement of the basic system is quoted as 0.35 against targets with velocities between 0 and 450 knots. Specifications, crew of 4, combat weight 12,010 kilograms, length 4.86 meters, width overall 2.85 meters, reduced 2.54 meters, height including turret 2.736 meters to top a driver's hash periscope 2.07 meters, zooming to haul top 1.83 meters. Ground clearance 0 0.406 meters. Max speed road 67.59 kilometers per hour. Road on 10% gradient 18.7 kilometers per hour. Water 5.6 kilometers per hour. Fuel capacity 360 liters. Max range 483 kilometers. Boarding amphibious gradient 60%. Slide slope 30%. Vertical obstacle 0 0.61 meters. Trench 1.68 meters. Engine Detroit diesel model 6V-53 six cylinder water cooled diesel. Developing 215 British horsepower at 2,800 RPM. Armament main one six barrel 20 millimeter cannon with 2,280 rounds of ammunition. Turret power control electric manual by commander no, by gunner yes. Gun elevation depression plus 80 and to minus 5 degrees. Turret traverse 360 degrees, armor 12 to 38 millimeters. And here we can see this is the only album or the only photo in the album. We see looks like uh, I would guess the U.S. Army uh, M163 maybe in uh, 
I can't quite read the signs, maybe when it's upscaled, but this might be during exercises in Germany, would be my guess. And in our 3D view, here we can see, here's the turret, the 20 millimeter gun, the range only radar, and that's about it. It's actually a pretty good uh, representation of the M163, all things considered. And stuff like this is definitely coming back in style with, with uh, drones popping up everywhere as it's found, like the Gepard, or Gepard, however it's pronounced, for example, has had extensive success against drones in Ukraine. And I know they're looking for cheaper solutions than the Iron Dome in Israel and in the US and in other NATO countries. So we're probably gonna see a resurgence of self-propelled anti-aircraft technology for uh, Western operators now. But with that, I think we'll end things there. So with that, thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and stay safe out there. And we'll see you then.